In the news this week, Stonewall is accused of pushing militant transgender ideology. The Scottish Government announces a bill expected to allow people to change legal sex by self-identification. And the Government reaffirms its commitment to daily religious assemblies in schools in England. Hello. Surrey's Police and Crime Commissioner has urged its force to cut ties with the controversial LGBT lobby group Stonewall over its promotion of transgender ideology. Commissioner Lisa Townsend called Stonewall a threat to women for claiming that men who self-identify as female should be allowed in women-only spaces. Everybody has told me not to speak out about this, that the debate is incendiary. But if women like me can't or don't speak up, who will? It does no one any good to pretend that biology doesn't matter. Townsend stressed that police forces should be recording offenders' biological sex, not just their gender identity. In separate remarks, actor and gay rights campaigner Simon Callow also criticised Stonewall over the same issue. In an interview with The Times Scotland, he described Stonewall's position on transgender rights as tyrannical and one that was pursued with an extraordinarily unproductive militancy. The Scottish Government is also under fire for its proposals to make it much easier for people to change legal sex. Following a power-sharing deal between the SNP and the Greens, it said it will press ahead with a new bill. The plans are expected to remove the need for any medical evidence, reduce the current two-year period to three months and extend sex swaps to 16-year-olds. The Christian Institute's Kieran Kelly said the Scottish Government is pushing a very dangerous ideology. This is a plan that completely ignores reality. The reality that biological sex is real and that a man cannot become a woman and a woman cannot become a man. Any GCC scientist knows this, the general public knows this. In fact, the only people who seem not to uh, are the Scottish Government and the activists supporting them. There are very worrying implications uh, for religious liberty uh, and for women's safety. This is a very dangerous ideology. Policy analyst Murray Blackburn Mackenzie pointed out the Scottish Government still hasn't published responses to its consultation on changing the Gender Recognition Act, which ended in March last year. But a Holyrood spokesman claimed any changes to the law would be undertaken in a way that ensures women's rights are preserved and protected. Figures from the Gambling Commission show a 12% rise in the number of adults gambling online during the pandemic. The industry watchdog, which monitored the impact of restrictions on gambling habits during lockdown, found approximately 12.1 million adults gambled online in 2020, up 1.3 million since 2019. Matt Saab Cousin, director of the Clean Up Gambling campaign, said consumers needed to be protected. Online gambling exploded in lockdown, with firms posting record profits at least 60% of which come from those experiencing gambling problems. Consumer protections, such as limits to stakes on slots like we have on fixed odds betting terminals, are badly needed. A separate report from academics at the University of Bristol found that of the 10,000 gambling premises in Britain, 21% were in the most deprived areas of the country, with only 2% in the least deprived areas. And finally, a daily act of collective worship must not be replaced by non-religious assemblies, a UK government minister has confirmed. Earlier this year, the National Secular Society wrote to the government asking that the law requiring schools have a daily act of collective worship be repealed. But Education Minister Baroness Berridge said it was not permissible for a school to apply simply to replace Christian or other religious collective worship with a non-religious assembly, and that schools found to be failing to fulfil this duty would be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.